What's up, guys? It's Mars from World Base Building. So today, I'll be building a base for the YouTube channel. Since we hit the 5,000 subscribers, I will be doing a... Well, I'll be building a hard mode base for Clash of Clans Tunnel 16 ESL. You can use it in hard mode, you can use it in regular mode. Pathing is pretty good for... Well, not pretty good, but it's harder to get the root riders and everything in. Traps are set up per like pretty nice for dragons or even Lalo. And I also have a cup, well, a bait in here for a giant arrow. And this base is pretty difficult to get from giant arrow. So we're going to start with the town hall comp. I've used this actually for base for Dizzy Esports. Dizzy Esports helped, well, I built for them for GCC. And unfortunately, it did not go their way. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start with tunnel comp because this is how I started off. So let's see. So what I did here is I did a double poison diamond base. The reason why double poison is just because there's not enough range for rage towers, right? And with like this style of base, it's kind of unique because I wanted to give a little bit of more uniqueness instead of every scene, like every time there's like the same looking ass base, you know? So let's see. I'm just gonna make sure I get everything right here. So I'm just making sure that we got everything right, just so we can make sure that this base does pretty well. That. Oops. There we go. And then now, so this is the tunnel hole comp I did for Dizzy. It's a little bit more different because it was more for a diamond cell base of the town hall, like this comp outside with like non breakable walls, etc. So now troops would just walk all the way here. But I decided to do something a little different today. What I did, I added some scatters and I made this base into a core town hall. So I also did this kind of style for CC comp and the multi comp. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to use these walls right here just so the funneling is, well, not the funnel. The troops could actually like spread out a bit. So now it's harder to get troops into the core. The only problem I do see on this base is possibly an overgrowth, but to be honest, everything is getting nerfed, and with hard mode, for this hard mode style base, it is going to be way more difficult to triple. So, let's get back into the building. Let's see here. So what I'm doing here, I'm adding expos to this comp, just so... We can have a little bit more DPS in there. And then I'm just going to continue like this. That. So something like this to start it off with, right? Since I know it's too close to the edge, I'm going to take it out a bit. I'm going to do dead zone right here. Just so it's harder to get the troops to funnel in. And then we're going to do something like this. We're going to do two walls here. Just so wall break is way more difficult. Okay. Let me just continue with this. Okay, perfect. So that's the first start of the base. So this is like the first compartment area of the base, which I like. You know, I like this compartment. It's nice. It looks effective. I'm not too sure yet. I just got to, you know, we got to test it, right? But... What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go off this monolith comp. So what I did is I did five walls to the side like this. And now the poison tower is like that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to stretch it out one like this. Keep going to the end. Do that. And then same thing on the other side. There we go. So now that sets us up for comp, for a comp here and another one right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
shrink this. Well, I'm going to isolate this, sorry. And then there we go. So that's the first part of the base. And there, you artillery. So I just got to make sure I do see this as a problem. I would fix it. I can give you guys two styles at the base, you know, might as well, right? But we're going to go off with this style first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a storage here and open, make this a comp, put a hero here. So now there's no direct pathing path as defenses. So I'm going to do that same thing on the other side. There we go. So that's the other part of the base done. All right. So next, what we're going to do is what well, I see here. So it is a little difficult to like what to do next, right? That's why you got to change the style a bit. You got to always change, change, change in this meta. So since I have the ego artillery, sorry, when I have the ego artillery right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a two way comp like this. Sorry, Jesus. Going to do a comp like this. Pretty easy. Pretty simple. Does the job, you know, and then I'm going to do the same thing here. And then what I'm going to do is add in two ground expos. Just so if they try to send a queen in there, they're going to get targeted a lot. Might need to use a rage, you know. So you just got to think about what the opponent's going to do. That's what I feel. Then, since I want to stop somewhat dragons, I'm going to add in two air defenses right next to the expos. And then boom. So that's the other part of the base done. Yes, the town hall is reachable from the monocomp. But since it's isolated, it's a harder wall break. And since I know the multis are also there, there's still a lot of DPS. And in this meta, it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter, the reachability. But it doesn't really matter if, if it's this kind of style base, you know. Because it's so protected on that side with the queen, RC. But the only thing is, it's the monocomp. Since it's isolated, it's a harder wall break. So... It's harder to get into. And what I'm going to do next now is I'm going to start building off the side comps. So I'm going to start with these ones right up here just because, you know, it's easier. It's better to go off of. Let me see. Actually, I'll start down here. So since I like these comps, which you can fit double, double spaces like this, right? So a builder hut spacing. All you got to do, what I would do is just build it, just build it. Since this one's a one off, it's all right. It doesn't really affect you. Let's just do that. And I use, if you see me just like drag and drop bases, that's well, building. So that's just so I can like measure the base out and everything. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to move this one more out like that. Perfect. So as you can see, I'm out of my... Level level 17 walls. Just going to keep going. Boom. Add another ricochet cannon like right here. Yes, it's going to be reachable from outside. But it does protect the heroes. And it does not continue. Like it does not go to the funnel of the poison tower or that builder's hut. So next up, I'm going to continue on these buildings on the outside. Since it is a little trickier to get this, see, so like I want to do another one of those nine by nine comps. See, as you're like, what am I supposed to do here since I did this and then I can do this, then it feels like a wasted wall, right? What I just do is I just make it as a small one. Small isolated wall. There we go. And then now you can just easily build around it. Like this. Perfect. And then boom. So now as you can see, I only have seven walls left. You know, I can't add any more to the base, so I won't. So what I'm going to do with these walls, I'm going to try to like, not bait, but like, how do I say it? I'm not trying to bait it, but trying to like restrict the giant arrow. So next, I'm going to start with this bottom comp right here. Well, not comp, but this bottom part right here. So I'm going to do two arch towers and the king. And then after that, 
what I'm going to do is I see how this is all set up now. I'll do trash building later. I'm going to just fill in these comps. So I can, I'm going to use a laboratory because it's not a defense comp and it is not really being targeted by targeting defenses. So I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to use a builder hut. And then I'm going to use a mortar here, just a flame flinger value, etc. Because it is a hard mode base, you know, so you still got to watch out for flame flingers. And you got to make sure that everything is all right. You know, every part of the base is good. So next, let's see, I'm going to fill in these last two comps. So I'm going to do the other air defense there and a bomb tower right here. Bomb tower, air defense. So now, as you can tell, the air defenses are a little in like a little wonky spot, which is fine because it is harder to like get through on the back end and all. So what I would do actually is I would change the way of the sweepers. So I would make them cover the air defenses because if they come in with drags, it can be effective and it could kill the, the air sweepers. So, like earlier, and then you want to protect them as much as you can and do your best at it. And I know they are diagonal, the same thing. So, like a giant arrow is possible and it is pretty easy to get, but I'm going to try to avoid that. It's simple as that. So, now at the top here, since there's not that much DPS all around, I'm going to add in the Grand Warden, a heavy hitting defense, and then I'm going to have some multiple hitting defenses with the double multi arch tower yes it is on the outside of the base yes it can get suied by a king easily but it is better to have a little bit more dps up there so next what i'm gonna do now let me just make sure i got everything here okay perfect so what i'm gonna do next now is the trash buildings so I usually like myself a workshop right at the top or bottom, you know, something equal. That's my kind of builds, right? And then I'm going to use a wizard tower for splash and a ken just for, you know, a little bit more hitting, you know. Then after that, I'm going to use two gold storages right here. So now it is harder to get through. And then I'm going to use Dark Elixir Drill right here. And then another one, because this base is very empty inside, then I got to use more trash buildings on, on the outside, which is more difficult. It will take time, but it is worth it. So now I'm going to add in two more Wizard Towers right here for more splash damage, because there's not really any at the top besides that multi right here. So multi is covering this area. Wizard Tower covering that. Wizard Towers are covering over here. And then Bomb Tower is covering over here for Splash. And then I got a Poison Tower, so if they use a Skelly spell or anything, then it can be avoided. And then I got the Double Maltese too for covering that mono. Then I also have two Wizard Towers right here to cover the bottom side. So it's a nice Splash, right? It's, a good, it's like a good spread of Splash because you got Splash almost everywhere. The only splash that is a problem, well, non-splash that is a problem, it is the eagle comp. But it doesn't really matter because it's an eagle comp. It's an outside eagle. People will just most likely king suey that or use the queen on the side. Next, what I'm going to do is just continue on the sides. So I'm going to use a gold mine and a mortar. Mortar, just for flame flinger, you know, just to make sure they don't get it. So the same thing on the other side. And then now, what I'm going to do is, before I set these walls on the side right here, I am going to set my arch towers right here because there's not really many air hitting defenses down here. So what I'm going to do is that and then an elixir storage. Elixir storage just to give it more time to break, you know? And then... I'm going to continue on these sides. So I'm going to use a dark spell factory. I'm going to use an army camp. And I'm going to use a gold mine all together. And I'm going to go off again with the dark drill. The only pro... I'm just going to space these out just because E-drag value. 
So what I'm going to do is another something like this. It's another three. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Add in the spell factory. Add in the army camp. And then the gold mine. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here. St dark storage. Elixir collector. Elixir collector. Now, most of the pathing, well, most of the trash buildings are set. I don't have much left, as you can tell, which is not bad. So, right now I'm going to go with the walls. The walls are to prevent a giant arrow. Yes, the dark, elic the dark spell factory is on the corner, but it is a harder arrow to hit both sweepers with. So, it could be very effective. So now, I'm going to show you how to do walls on the outside. So I'm going to place a wall here. Same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing, but just minimize the value right here. So now they can't deploy troops behind it. So I'm going to do the same thing right here, right on the corner of the army camp. And I'm going to do the same thing right here on this side. There we go. So now giant arrow is harder to hit since I'm using my little bar at the bottom to line it up. So now if you do by example from there, it's not really going to hit. Like, look, the bar is just going to hit possibly the double multis if you giant arrow from the spell factor if your queen isn't placed properly. So now this is a harder arrow to hit because it's like a dead zone area. Dead zone area is very effective against giant arrow on the outside. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a cannon right here. Space it out one. Same thing right here. Space it out one. After that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place a spring trap right on the edge of this right here. Just so if they use super barbs, bye bye. I'm going to do the same thing there. Elixir collector and then elixir collector there. Space it out one more or less. There we go. Just so we have more place to drop the buildings. There we go. Elixir collector, gold mine. Perfect. Now, this is the base that is complete. So now I used this last one so the giant arrow can't go across the base. Yes, it can go from the top, but there's a lot of DPS. So now the main layout is done. Now we're going to go on to the next step. Next step, which is the traps. Traps are one of my favorite things to do. They are difficult because this meta really depends on it. But well, what I'm going to do on this base, instead of baiting the back end for root riders, I'm going to try to just get rid of the funnel, well, the funnels to screw it up, the sueys, and just try to, like, go against it. So, as you can tell, double arch tower at the top with the warden, got to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a Tesla farm with spacing out the Teslas, so now the funnel can be a little harder for the attacker. And let's do a skeleton trap on each side. So it's still harder. And then a spring trap right here. Just in case, most players are right-handed. So most players will come in the right side. Right side or left side, it depends who you're playing against, right? All right, next. What I'm going to do next for traps, I'm just going to use the small bombs, right? Small bombs, easy placement. Let's place them all around here. Because I'm going to keep those giant bombs for other important places. So now, as you can tell, small bombs are placed. Perfect. Now I'm going to continue with the skelly traps. Skeleton trap there, skeleton trap there. Just so it defends the monolith just a little bit more. Next, what I'm gonna place down next is very either interesting or common so i'm gonna do spring traps and giant bombs next so for next i'm gonna do the spring traps so i'm gonna place two spring traps right here next to the expo and the scatter shot i'm gonna change this expo also to a ground just so it is harder for a flame flinger to hit these compartments right here and then, where I'm just going to place my last two spring traps. 
just got to figure out where I would place them, right? So there's not that many spots I could really place them on this base right here. Because it is difficult. Well, it's more difficult to find places for them. Like even I. I don't remember where I place these spring traps. But I want to make sure that everything gets like placed perfectly. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do giant bombs. Just because I can't remember. So giant bombs each in this corner. Since there's like all this clumped up defense is right here. Which is a nice place for giant bomb. Then I'm going to place the last giant bomb right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place NATO right on the other side. So now NATO, if it does catch the troops and the troops don't have a warden or anything. And if it's ground troops, then yeah, it's going to hit all the like, giant bombs and everything. Then, let's see here. It's back to spring traps or... Nah. Just use the giant bomb. So we're going to use two giant bombs right here. So now if they do come through with root riders or anything, they will get affected by this, by these giant bombs. I feel like the giant bombs would be better right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change those giant bombs right there. Just because pathing is not 100% certain for behind the scatter. <laughs> Then, let's see, okay. I'm a little tired. Let's see here. I'm going to start with the Seeking Air Mines now. I'm place one right on the monolith because we need to protect the heavy hitting defenses. I'm going to do the same thing on each side. Same here, right here. Perfect. And then I'm going to do the same as right like this. All right here. Perfect. So now the core is mostly trapped. That's what it is. The core is mostly trapped just to make sure dragons do not escape. Or they make it harder. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a bait. Okay? The red bombs, I'm going to set up a bait. If they do giant arrow, then their healers are going to most likely go bye-bye. So I'm going to place five red air bombs right here. And then the last two, I'm going to place them right next to the mono. Which is more effective because there's not that much splash right at the mono. So if they clone, wow. Then we got only two spring traps left. Like I said, I do not remember where I placed them. Which is my fault. <laughs> but there is a nice other spot that we can place them right here. Right next to the core in next to the multi, inferno, builder's hut, and air sweeper. And as you can tell, now the base has been finished. So, this base will be more used for hard mode. All I'm saying is use it at your own risk. It is untested, but I did my best and I wanted to make sure that you guys love these free bases. So, I know you guys might not be like, ooh, not a fan of like watching me build it or anything. But I wanted to make sure that you guys understand how I build my bases. I want to make sure that you guys enjoy them. So that's one version of the base. And then the second one, I can easily fix it. But it is a little bit more work just to fix these core multis right here. But I could always do that another day. Because if I do this with the walls right here, then there is more chance that the root riders or anything will path in to the core. So I feel like this is the better version. Right? Perfect. So I just wanted to thank everyone for 5,000 subscribers for World Base Building. I want to thank Nico from World Base Building for letting me do this project. And I want to thank you guys for giving you guys our support. So I want to say thank you for all that. And I wanted to reward you guys with a base that I have built for hard mode. So, thank you very much, have a good one, and keep coming back for more. Alright, have a good one.